This past Christmas, I challenged myself and others to 3D print as many little toys as possible. And then these would be given away to local kids and foster homes as well as others in need. And I'm proud to say that I exceeded my personal goal of over 500 toys. But in the midst of all of this, I ran into something I really didn't expect, electrical issues. And not just weather related, those of course popped up, but also the occasional brownout or quick shutdown of the power for just no reason whatsoever. It's the hazards of rural life, but I quickly realized I needed to work smarter if I wanted to get done with over 500 prints before Christmas. You've got to work smarter, lad, not harder. So I decided to start printing sequentially. Now sequential printing, that's not some newfangled part of slicers. It's been around for a good long time and it's in practically every slicer program out there. And it works basically just how it sounds. You put multiple prints on your build plate and they print one at a time sequentially until each one finishes before moving on to the next one. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't something you're going to want to use all the time, if at all. There are drawbacks to go along with the good parts. And to head off at least a few of the comments, yes, if you have a newer printer with a dependable power outage recovery setup, uh, you won't really need to worry about power problems, obviously. In Cura version 5.6.0, you're going to want to open your settings. If you're using basic settings, you first need to turn on advanced settings, and you can find that by going up to the three lines next to your search bar up there and uh, open that drop down menu. Next, go down to special modes. It should be your first setting called print sequence. It will most likely show the setting all at once. All at once is basically the layer by layer for everything on your build plate. But for sequential printing, we want to change this over to one at a time. And Prusa Slicer is very similar. Click on the Print Settings tab and go down to the Output Options. Now, if you don't see Output Options, you'll need to go to the tab on the top right and click on Advanced or Expert. Inside Output Options, sequential printing should be your first option on the right. Next to that, you just want to put a mark in the checkbox next to complete individual objects. And in Bamboo Studio or Orca Slicer, down in your settings, go over to the Other tab. Scroll down to the last section called Special Mode. The first option is Print Sequence, and you just change that to By Object and you're set. As I mentioned earlier, there are some negatives to using sequential printing. The first and biggest problem is the limit on how many models you can print at one time. In Cura, this is a huge problem as you really have no control over how large the boundary is around your print. This will definitely limit the size of the model you can print with using sequential printing. Even my large format longer LK5 Pro can only handle one of these helicopters without shrinking it down to about 50%. And Cura's Arrange All Models feature was very unhelpful. Uh, it might be possible to rotate each model and try to figure it out, but that's a huge pain. Now, in contrast, Prusa Slicer has expert settings available that allow you to set the radius around your model as well as the height. And it also allows you to auto-arrange your model in the best orientation. It'll figure that out for you. Be careful to watch for errors, though, as I kept getting an error about the height of the model causing extruder collisions. With the helicopter model on the bed, I had to change radius and height, and finally somewhere around 44 millimeters uh, was good before the errors stopped popping up. Now, Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer, you don't have the ability to change the boundaries like Prusa Slicer had, but what it loses there, it more than makes up for with some pretty intelligent layouts using the Arrange button. After dropping two helicopters on the build plate, I clicked the Arrange button and then turned on the option to Auto Rotate for Arrangement. Your models then get automatically placed in the proper orientation to let your printer do the best job possible. And instead of just giving you an error if you have too many on the plate, it just moves the extras off the side onto a new build plate. So obviously sequential printing works better if you have a build plate full of small objects, but it is possible to get it going with something just a bit bigger. I'm sure that I probably missed a number of pros and cons to sequential printing that you've probably thought of. If you did, let us know in the comments so that we can all share in that knowledge as we all continue to learn, create, and amaze.